I say Shalom Kahalayim La Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahushah. Also give it the honest to LGMS, honest to Akiyam. Peace and bless you, brothers and sisters that listen. Hopefully, let's go Halayim La Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahushah. And um, today, you know, seeing these articles late last week, and I said, you know, I'm gonna do a video on it when I get the time. Um, on the judgments that's coming out on the uh, these gruesome judgments, man. Right, these horrid judgments that's being played out on these monstrous women, man. Yeah, how about Chanel Shah? This 2020, man, a lot of death certificates is going to be given out this year, man. Right, the Most High is not playing any games, man. And, um, you know, um, I've seen this week, man, the Most High, you know, uh, is killing a lot of you Jakes, man, especially these women, man. Okay, because these women are not exempt. Okay, they may think so. They may think they're princesses and they're pure and uh, no harm is going to come to them. They're dead wrong because Esau has created this safe haven for these women, for them to act the way that they do, man. Okay. Um, you know, they uh, uh being, uh, you know, they pretty much glorified sluts in this society, man. Twerking and teaching their daughters to be whores you see and that behavior man Yahba Shemel Shah is not playing that no more man you see let me and, and also but you know what matter of fact let me get that article let me read this scripture first alright it's men of the Lord man this is what the scripture says Micah chapter 3 verse 8 because you're not going to hear this reproof in these churches man alright Pretty much nobody likes to correct these women on their folly, man. Like you had the other woman that uh, Vocab Malone tried to use to try to combat the fact, which we did a video on that. I'm going to put that video up. Um, on the, the There was no Fort, Fort Judah was really talking about something else, and there was no Jews in West Africa. That's why you women just got to be quiet, man. Just be quiet, man. Okay. The most I didn't put you in no authority, no position to teach, man. Be quiet, man. All right. That scripture says it's Micah chapter three, verse eight. He said, but truly I am full of power by the spirit of Yahweh Ba'ashim Shah and of judgment and of might to declare unto Jacob his transgression and to Israel his sin, man. Okay. Most I set up. A certain group of men to reprove and to rebuke Israel, man. Okay. Let them know, man, that about the judgments that's coming on this planet Earth, man. That's why the scripture says, knowing the terror of the Lord, that's how we persuade men. Okay. And that's why our people do the things that they do in this society, period. This world is out of course. Because there's no fear of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Okay, but 2020, you people are going to fear the most high, man. Right? The Heavenly Father is not to be played with, man. And because he held his peace for a long time, iniquity has increased. But the scripture says he's, he's going to cry like a travailing woman. He's no longer holding back, man. That's what we see is nothing but death and destruction daily. Okay? That's why, let me read these articles. Let me see if I can just read a succession of articles. Let's go to this first article here. Look at this, man. It said, man shoots dead ex-girlfriend and her two daughters who tried to intervene before killing himself. Because he was jealous, she had gone to the beach with another man. You see that? So let me just read a brief synopsis of the article. I'm not going to read the whole thing. It says, Gabriel Jordan first started choking Shanta Singleton outside a home in South Carolina after she told him it was over and she had a new boyfriend. And that's another thing, man. You know, in this society, women have that power. Most of the divorces is initiated by the woman in this society, over 70%. Right? And they're the ones who want to get married, and then they suck a man dry, 
take his resources and then he move on to something else, man. But this dude right here, see, he, he gunned her down and her two daughters and he took the gun and he pulled it on himself, man. See? Because she wanted to leave for another man. Let me read on. I'm just reading from the points to get some scriptures in a minute. Jordan shot her after one of the daughters tried to come help their mother. Trayvon Strowman, 12, jumped on Jordan's back. He shot and killed her. Then he shot 18-year-old Shanisa Trowman in the arm, but she has recovered. As the teen neighbors... As the teen ran to the neighbor's house for help, she saw Jordan with his gun chasing her 15-year-old sister, Essene, in the house, was later found dead. Damn, man. An armed neighbor confronted Jordan and told him to leave, but soon after her gunshots and sirens, Jordan's body was found outside with a pistol and a, on the ground near his legs. So he killed two of her daughters and he killed her because she wanted, she said it was over. And um, now we don't know the in, um inner workings of that relationship but the scripture says man you know the most high giveth a wicked woman to a wicked man man and um in this society these women got the liberty to do whatever you see but the scripture does say i think it's proverbs um the sixth chapter tells you that jealousy is a rage of a man man and that he will not spare the day of vengeance i think that's proverbs the sixth chapter going on i think to the 30 some verse Roughly, so I'm paraphrasing it, man. All right, and the spirit of jealousy came upon that dude because she said that she had another man. And what happened? He gunned her down, man. Cold blood and killed her two daughters. The love of many is waxing cold. All right, let's get to the next article. It says. It's okay. Bludgeoned to death. Woman 48 beat her 32 year old wife to death with a wine cooler days after gushing about their love. So two freaking lesbians, man. A New Jersey woman has been accused of bludgeoning her wife to death. She battled to death with a wine chiller <laughs> a week after gushing about her social media. All right. The reason why that romance failed because it was it was unlawful, man. All right. It's wicked, man. The Bible clearly condemns homosexuality, man. The Bible clearly condemns lesbianism in Romans, the first chapter. You see what I'm saying? So this whole thing was wicked, man. And that woman met her judgment. It says Myra Gavalines, a locked us 48 faces charges of murder, weapons, offense and the death of 32 year Rebecca. A lot us, and we see this everywhere now. Ocean County prosecutor said in, in a news release Tuesday, so she bludgeoned her to death. Okay, so much about gushing about their love, man. Most sign with that, man, and the most I gonna get the other woman too, man. All right, her life is already done, man. She's just gonna receive the missiles after this, man. Okay, whatever. Um, um, way the Heavenly Father see fit to judge her. You see? These are the vicious the vicious judgments that's here. Okay? Let me get this next and last article. It says, mom of two, 34, with history of family violence, kills her nine-year-old daughter before turning gun on herself in 10 SWAT standoff. Wow. It says, oh, Electica Stevenson Gates killed her daughter, Melonia Matoa, nine, in a tragic murder-suicide on Monday during a standoff for police in Dallas, Texas, which is nothing new. These Israelite women killing their children. Um... The highest cause of death amongst you Israelites is not gang banging, it's not drug dealing, it's not murder, it's abortion, man. Okay? Abortion. They love aborting their babies so they can avoid responsibility, man. Okay? Y'all gonna be judged for that as well as um too, man. 
You see, because that's stone cold murder, man. Because they want to what? They want to play the whore. She just says, cops responded to domestic violence calling Redbird around 12.30 a.m. Electrica's husband says she chased him out of the house with a gun and stayed inside with a 12-year-old son and daughter. The boy was able to escape from the home, but Electrica barricaded herself in a closet with a daughter Then SWAT officers forced entry. She shot two SWAT officers. Hours later, officers found her dead with the child. What a selfish woman, man. All right? She killed herself and the child, man. But she's the one who need help, man. Okay? She's the one that was mentally unstable. You see? That's why the scripture says this. Let me read this precept here. Limitation chapter 4, verse 3. So these women out there, man, and the ones of you that have any um, common sense, the ones of you that's willing to repent, man. Yo, man. <laughs> Y'all better take heed to the message and the warnings that the men of the Lord has given you, man. Because it's going to be bad out here in America, man, real soon. Okay, they talking about, oh, reopening and uh, trying to bring society, some normalcy back to society. Shit ain't going back to normal. It's going to be more restrictions. They're coming with their contact tracing. tracing. They're going to crash the economy, bring forth the digital dollar. It's going to be more food shortages. And then they said by the end of the year, they're going to have their vaccinations. Or whatever plague or disease or natural disasters, um, that Esau may trigger whatever biological weapon that he may release is going to be chaotic in Babylon, man. Okay? And the majority of you women are going to catch holy hell, man. All right? That scripture says this, especially about this woman that got killed herself and her daughter. The scripture says, Limitation chapter 4, verse 3. It says, Even the sea monsters draw out the breasts. They give suck to the young ones. Even Leviathan breastfeeds her young. But the scripture says... <laughs> The daughter of my people has become cruel, like the ostriches in the wilderness. They know different than the ostriches in the wilderness, man. Ostriches is known for stepping on their young. And that's what our people have been resorted to, man. Okay? Because that's also part of the curse in the book of Limitation, the 20, I mean, the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. All right? It says, the tongue of the sucking child cleave it to the roof of his mouth for thirst. The young children ask bread and no man breaketh it unto them. Let me read on down. It says, um, verse 10, the hands of the pitiful woman have sodden their own children. They were their meat in the destruction of the daughter of my people. So women actually started killing their own children and eating them right when the Babylonians came in. And that's also going to make a huge comeback as well as cannibalism. Okay. We're about to come face to face with cannibals, man. People are going to resort to eating human flesh. Women are going to actually eat their own children, man. And they themselves are going to get raped or eaten, man. Okay? That's reality. All right? I'm not going to um, sugarcoat anything. All right? Or give you a watered down doctrine and talk about wives and your future in America like IUIC like to do, man. Okay, those people over there, they're not prepared for anything. They said there's not going to be no Jacob's trouble. They're not sounding the alarm. You see? That's why, so, <laughs> it's time to get it together, man. All right, all this um, being insta thoughts and twerking, all that shit, man. The most high is going to judge y'all for that, man. All right? This is just America, like we said, Babylon is just a, it's just a big playground. Right for these harlots, man. You see, that's what scripture says. Proverbs nine thirteen. It says, um, bring a couple of precepts. It says Proverbs nine thirteen. It says, and this is for that woman who vocab Malone tried to use to uh, the bump what we're saying. It says, what a foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knoweth nothing. Just like you had a woman who came on the comment board the other day. Talking this stupid shit about the Apostle Paul. Be quiet, man. Unsubscribe from the page and be just fade to black, man. All right? Be gone, Satan. Okay? Nobody want to hear your two cents, man. That scripture says what? A foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knoweth nothing. You don't know what you're talking about, man. First of all, Paul was a chosen vessel of Yahweh Shai, man. 
And the other woman talking about trying to debunk the Israelites. Just be quiet, man. She, she's in bed with her master, man. She's a super coon, man. She's an auntie mama. You see, she wants to uphold this captivity, man. Right, and that's what the Most High said unto you, O men I call, and my voice unto the sons of men. Yahweh Bashimel Shah is raising up the tabernacle of David. Men, man. Okay? All right? These women, it's time. These women are supposed to be underneath our feet, man, in subjection, man. And they're going to have to learn that. Okay, and they're going to see this destruction playing out in America, man. Okay? Everything's going to be turned right side up. Don't like what you're saying, unsubscribe from the page, man. We're not looking for followers, man. Okay? We're up here to build up the remnant. Those that's willing to learn, man. Okay? Those that are willing to repent. Okay, the vast majority of these women, man, they gonna they going to take that microchip, man. Okay? They're already bugging out of this whole COVID-19 thing with the face mask and the, the gloves. You know, fearful of every little thing. You see? But they talk big, man. Matter of fact, to prove that, let me get the book of Job. Job chapter 2, verse 9. It says, um, It says, uh, let me jump. Job chapter 2, verse 7. So Satan went forth from the presence of Yahweh Shemel Shah and smote Job with sore boils from the sole of his foot unto his crown, his head. And he lost his children, he lost his possession, he lost everything. And he took a pot shirt to scrap himself withal, and he sat down among the ashes. So Job was brought very low, man. He was destitute, man. Everything was desolate. He was impoverished, right? He was he was wealthy before. He lost everything within a moment. And what happened? Then said his wife unto him, "Doest thou still retain thine integrity? Curse the Most High and die." Because these women don't have integrity. And this is an ancient world, okay? This is the ancient world where women were supposedly upright, right? Supposedly in order, all right? What happened? As soon as Job lost his his wealth, his great wealth, she turned on him, man. Which proves that the majority of these women marry men for their status and security, man. What they call a uh, hypergamy. Right? They don't love the man himself. They love what he can do for her. You see? And when he can't do anything else for her, she turns on him, man. That's how we know beyond a shot of a doubt, majority of these women, they're going to take that chip, man. You see, they they hold it. They want to hold on to Babylon, man, and they're going to be destroyed with it. That's why, in fact, let me get that in the book of Ezra. The second Ezra, let me see. This old lesson, you can go on and on and on, man, but just wanted to highlight, you know, what's happening this past week. You know, um, um, let me see, second Ezra 13. I'm trying to find it. I think it's 16. Yeah, here we go. Second and 16. Yeah, so you know what we'll be seeing this week. These nasty judgments, man. And, and there's more to come. All right? There's more to come. Second Ezra 16 and 32. Nobody's exempt, man. That's what we praying and fasting, and hopefully we stay on point. Okay, because we don't want to drink of that cup. Second Ezra 16, verse 32, it says, uh, It says, And the earth shall be laid waste, and the fields thereof shall wax old, and her ways and all her paths shall grow full of thorns, because no man shall travel therefore. The virgins shall mourn. These young women going to mourn, right? All right, these women out here that's, you know, which right now, a lot of those things are taken away. It's still got social media to some degree, all right? Where they're, uh, um, like we said, they glorified whores. They receive all kind of praise and from a lot of thirsty dudes out there. 
that swells and go to their head, man. The scripture calls that the pride of life, man. They're proud, man. Because a lot of these guys are simps and they put them on a pedestal. All right, but soon they're going to mourn. It said, virgins shall mourn, having no bridegroom, no husbands, no covering, no protection. Okay, they're going to be fully taken. The serpent is going to turn back around and bite you, man. Okay, he's going to take all his goodies away. All right. It says, the woman shall mourn having no husbands. Their daughter shall mourn having no helpers. In the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed and their husbands shall perish of famine. That scripture says, seven women shall take hold of one man. There's going to be wars on every side. World wars, civil wars, race wars, class wars. It's going to be all kind of wars. All right. And like we said, um, Esau has made the American people um, the new the new face of terrorism, and it's going to trickle. And it's already the main face of terrorism. Are you Israelites, man? And there's going to be a great persecution on those who believe in Yahweh Bashemel Shah, man. So these women, like we said, man, you know, hard harder times is coming, man, because we're already in the midst of it. Like we said, all the benefits and the paychecks and the power, you know. Uh, that he, Esau has given, he's going to take it away. Because these Esau is the source of Eve's stability. Okay? But that marriage is coming to an end. Man. And the vast majority of these women, they totally in league with Babylon. Man. They love this cesspool. Man. And this is going to happen to you. I'm going to read Luke the 17th chapter. And then we could have went to Micah, you know, in um, other chat Isaiah 32 and 9, but you know, the point stands, man. Let me read this, uh, Luke, the 17th chapter. You can do a whole two-hour lesson on this. Luke 17. This is what Yahweh Shai said. And it's for y'all who have ears to hear. Luke 17, verse 30. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. In that day, he which is upon the housetop and his stuff in the house, let him not come down to take it away. So we ain't looking back for anything. We moving forward. And he that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. So Yahweh Shai said, and this is for you women who have common sense, man. All right. He's trying to be a better Israelite, man. Scripture says, remember Lot's wife, man. Remember Lot's wife, man. Okay, because she was materialistic, like the typical average woman today, man. About shopping and, you know, about frivolous things. Okay, and she was given an order not to turn back, and she did. All right, she got put to death, man. Okay, so these women that's holding on to Babylon, holding on to the ways of America, trying to hold on to the very little power that the devil has given them, they're going to go down with him. Right, scripture says, Remember Lot's wife, whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it, man. And whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. So we lost our life for Yahweh Shemel Shah because the Israelite man is the Heavenly Father's woman, man. Okay, he's our head. We're in subjection to him. You see? That's what we do the best that we can, man. Keep the commands at best of our ability, faith. Keep the, um, the high holy days. Go out there and do the work, do lessons. All right? Because we fear our power. But these women, they don't fear the man. Okay? They want to be over the man. Okay? What happened? They're going to be destroyed for that, man. Okay? It's going to be more. It's going to be horrible out here, man. All right, so that's why, man, you know, Jake got to take heed to the message, man, before it's too late. But that mistake, call how long you lie, how about Shemel Shah, Shalom.